Lord of Landmates! Hello everyone, Pentif here today for a new review, a new in-shop video. As you all know, the IS2 SH hit the shop for 7,500 gold and we are gonna see if it's worth it. First of all, the characteristics. Uh, concerning this tank, concerning the gun, it's probably the, the average one for the Russian BS because you have the same on the IS-6, you have the same on the IS-5. Uh, basically, you, you, you have a good alpha damage but a crazy shit accuracy. Therefore, uh, make sure to aim before shooting, that's really important, especially with this tank. But what, what is the difference between this tank and the other uh, tier 8 Russians, because they all look the same? Here, you have a turreted uh, armor, which is mounted on the rear, which means uh, you, you, this tank is, I'm not gonna say quite good, but is good in sight crap. Uh, concerning also the characteristics of the gun, you have a good gun depression, I feel. I feel like on the side of the tank you have still a good gun depression, as you can see right here, I'm using it to kill the Smasha. And uh, yes, the mobility for a Russian is average, and uh, concerning maybe the armor, the armor is not the best, truly. Uh, I think you have the rear mounted uh, turret because you lack of armor, so you can use it inside scrap without uh, showing your L armor. Here, as you can see, I tried to, to bounce the IS-5. Normally, I shouldn't have been uh, able to bounce him, but he shot at my tracks. But d don't take it for like, wow, this tank has a great armor. Definitely not. You, you, you don't have a good armor. So if we sum up, we have... Uh, no, an average armor, an average mobility, and uh, an average gun. Really, this tank is average. Uh, I would say it's balanced. For, for once, a Russian tier ATV is balanced. But when it comes to premiums, you only want to buy the OP1 because it's real money. So definitely don't buy it. It's not worth it because it's not OP. So, uh, as you can see, I tried mainly to protect the, the AMX 5100 when I was against the IS-5, etc, etc, because I wanted to have an ally in case the T26 E4 died, uh, which was the case. Unfortunately, the AMX 3075 came in my way to try to sneak a quick shot on the AMX 5100 and killed it. So now we're gonna try to, to take care of this 3075. I tried an HE here, but of course Russian BS plus right click doesn't do well because it ended up directly into his tracks. Can we sneak in another one? No, because the traverse speed is not the best, truly not the best, unfortunately. But uh, are we are we gonna be able to destroy the 3090? Yeah, come on, we bounced him. So normally now it should be uh, good and the RNG is on our side because we put him in, in fire with an HE and he doesn't have a fire extinguisher. We only have to deal with the Pershing which is going to be to get gangbang in a 1 versus 5 situation. Can we at least kill him to get the fourth shot? And yes, we can. Uh, God damn it, this, this shot was really lucky because as you can see, my shot definitely didn't went where I aimed, but it shot at the Pershing anyway. So, please wait, please wait. Let's see what we did. Uh, we did an ace tanker, high caliber medal, the four kill medals, the uh, ace tanker, uh, no, not the ace tanker. Uh, yeah, we did it, but I was talking about the shield one, the one when you where, where you bounce or at least 1k. But still, uh, th that was a good game, but it's definitely not representative of what the IS-2SH is capable of because this tank is definitely not worth it, so please uh, do me a favor and don't buy it. I hope you liked my advices concerning the tank. Don't forget, this tank is crazy, but only it's side scrap. You're not here to be better, but to be the best. Pantoof, over.